that said, let us turn to a discussion around uh, Microsoft's new package manager, relatively new. So this is something called Winget. So if you go to the command prompt and you type Winget, you will get a range of information about the Windows package manager. Okay, now the good thing is, is that Winget is included in all Windows 11 devices. So there's a command line interface that is built in to Windows 11. Now, if you have a Windows 10 device, you can go into the Microsoft uh, store on your device and do a search for Winget and it will come up with uh, an option here that is basically the app installer. So if we click on this, you'll see that there's an app installer from Microsoft Corporation. Download that onto the device um, and it will then basically put Winget in the background uh, for you if you want to do that. So if you don't have Winget, you can certainly get it directly from the Microsoft store. Now, the good thing about Winget is that it can work with applications that are already you know, on the environment. So to see what applications are on your device, you just go Winget space list, and that will list out all the applications that have been installed on the device. Now, when we look at the list here, you'll see you get basically a friendly name. You get an ID. The ID is really important when we go to install and uninstall these sort of things. You get a version number and you'll also get a source column. Now the source column indicates where the install came from. Now you'll see when you look at this column, you'll see that the source could be Winget and it may also be blank. So that means it hasn't come using the package manager. Now the good news is, is that Winget can work with applications that weren't installed uh, with Winget as well. So again, super handy capability to be able to you know, achieve that uh, if you want. So the first thing we can do once we've got a list, let's say we want to install something. So what I can do here is I can do uh, winget space install and then you know the ID of the application. In this case, I'm going to install Camtasia. I know the name is Camtasia, so I'll hit enter to uh, install uh, Camtasia. Now what the package manager does, it goes off to its repository, it finds the details, the information of how and where Camtasia, the install of Camtasia is. It will download that, it will then start the installation process. Now that installation process I can also control and accept you know user settings and all that sort of stuff as it installs. So all of that is controllable uh, with Winget. Now <coughs> The interesting thing here is that all of this again is, is open source. So Microsoft will have and maintain its own curated repository of applications. Now that is going to contain the vast majority of applications that most people use. So Camtasia, Adobe, Microsoft, um, all the big suppliers there. Now there will also be, or there also is a community repository, a number of community repositories. So the idea is if an application isn't in the, the standard curated Microsoft repository, then a community repository may source that as well. And you can point Winget to look at, you know, the Microsoft repository or a community repository if you want. So as Winget grows in influence, we're going to see more and more applications added to the Microsoft one as well as to any community ones. Now the third option is, is if none of those suit your needs, you can then go in and create your own repository, your own Winget repository that can be used to install and update applications. Now you configure that with the configuration file. So you would say, you know, basically uh, like a JSON file that would say, this is where the application is. This is how to install it. All of that information is contained in the config file and it would point to a repository or the standard repository of the application. So in summary, we can have, and most cases, people will be using the standard Microsoft curated repository, or you can also start using a community-based repository, and you can also use your own custom repository uh, if you so wish to go in and install applications. Now, to uninstall that application, it's basically the same thing. So we go winget space uninstall, and then the name or the identity of uh, the application. So in this case, I'm going to uninstall Camtasia <coughs> now, and I just type in that, it will then locate the application and then remove it you know, in the appropriate way. Now, remember, as I said, when you use Winget, it can use packages that were installed with Winget, but it can also uninstall or remove or manipulate applications that weren't you that weren't installed with Winget. So for example, uh, let's go in here and have a look at 
<clears throat> you know, the Microsoft Xbox Game Bar. Okay, so again, if we have a look, you'll see that it actually wasn't um, installed using Winget. So hopefully if I uh, uninstall the that, that will then be removed uh, from my environment. So remember, Winget doesn't works with all software that is detected on our Windows device here. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can also not only install and uninstall applications, we can also upgrade um, those applications. So if I go Winget space, you know, upgrade space, and then I put in um, the application name here. So let's have a look and see uh, what we've got here that could be updated. So let me pick Windows Terminal, for example. All right. So what I'm going to do is Windows Terminal is already on this device and I'm going to go Winget space upgrade space and then the identity of the software I want to upgrade. And in this case, it's Microsoft.WindowsTerminal. Winget will go out and see if there are any new patches, any new updates uh, for that application. And if there are, they weren't in this case, it would then install those and take care of it for me. So really, really handy capability to not only install, uninstall application, but also keep them up to date. Now, once you've got your machine the way you want, I really like using Winget because now what I can create is a script with all the, so all the, so all the software that I need uh, to be installed on the next device that I use, the next VM, the next demo or whatever. Now, I can actually use Winget space export to export the software configuration or software installs on you know, a uh, base device and then use Winget space import to pull that file, that configuration into the next machine. So once I've got a base level machine the way I want it, I can export the total install of software on there and then use that to import into another machine and it will go on and do all the installs for me. So again, really, really handy way. You don't have to do each one manually on the command line. Again, once you've got a base machine the way you want it, you can export that configuration and import it into the next machine. Now, I certainly appreciate that a lot of people would prefer not to use the command line. Now, I really like it because, as I said, I can take um, the command line and I can create a script and then I can rerun that over and over again to get a standard machine. Um, again, gives me more control as I can control each line uh, individually. However, there is also now a community building up around the Winget uh, application. One of these ones is called winstall.app. Now, what that allows you to do is if you want to install, for example, Adobe, so let's go in here and do a search on this site. So you'll find that at winstall.app. So I do a search for Adobe. You'll see that uh, it will search its database. It will nominate the application here. All right, and then basically what I do is I add the desired application uh, that I want. And I can add multiple applications here and then it will allow me to generate a script to install that. So you don't have to necessarily generate or, or do low level uh, command line to work out what's going on here. You can use tools like winstall.app um, to create the required options in here. So this is going to give me a script with the appropriate command line options to do an install. Now the last one that I'll speak about, which I think is probably the most handy of the lot, is something called uh, Winget UI. Again, a community project here you basically install uh, the application onto your device. I've got it installed on this device. You just download it uh, and install it. It will then put a little icon or program on you, in your machine, on your system tray. And you'll see here, it will actually give you effectively a GUI over the top of Winget, right? So again, if you go in here, you can look at all the installed packages, all right? And if we want, we can, you know, right mouse click on these, we can uninstall, uninstall as administrator, you know, do all that sort of stuff in so A, it lists out, again, all our products. We can export, you know, that file that I talked about uh, previously from the command line, it's done with a GUI here. If there are any updates to any of the package, they will appear in the updates tab here and you just select them and update them, right? So uh, again, really, really handy way to make sure your machines are up to date. Because it's running in the system tray, it will tell you whether any updates um, are required and then you can go in uh, and uh, deal with it as well. So think of Winget uh, UI as you know, a management uh, interface 
you know, over the top or dashboard over the top of Wingate. So Wingate is running underneath the covers here and Wingate UI is a solution that somebody's written to sit over the top of it now. Again, Wingate UI, fantastic interface, really well written. I uh, encourage you to go in um, and support them, but you can certainly install this uh, on your local machine to manage your software installs as well as manage updates. Now, at this point in time, what is missing is the capability to do this across multiple devices. So Winget, Winget UI, all of this stuff at the moment is largely you know, single device or single Windows 11 uh, PC focused. Okay, So what we're missing is, is that integration to do multiple devices in a tenant and potentially to do multi-tenant uh, with many devices. Now, my understanding is from Microsoft is they're looking to, you know, use the Winget capability in Windows as their base level or their new approach to doing package manager, which is really, really good news. Their approach has been a, hit, a little bit hit and miss over the years, in tunes a bit, cumbersome to work with when you're installing, managing, update and patching apps. Um, again, the idea here is that we get Winget as a nice uh, standard you know, set up. We can use the command line if we want to stand alone, but if we can integrate it with Intune, which I believe is, you know, what they're aiming to do, it's going to give us that capability to install, manage our software from policy using Intune with Winget handling all the heavy lifting on the devices, which is a really nice uh, package manager as you've seen. Once we get it into Intune, once we get the ability to deploy Winget on multiple devices in a tenant, you know, in a nice, simple, easy way with policy. We're also going to get potentially the way a way to do to look at this with multi-tenant using things like Microsoft 365 Lighthouse. So at this point in time, there is no multi-device, multi-tenant solution with Winget. However, uh, my understanding is Microsoft's working on that very hard. They're looking to, you know, realign the way they do package management. Now that's going to take a little while to do it. So it's not something that's going to happen tomorrow, but I'm very confident from what I've seen that, you know, they are moving in the right direction. They are doing this integration. It's going to take them an amount of time. But once you see and start using Winget and look at some of these community tools and the focus on it being more open source, you know, multi-repos if you want, I think that's a really positive step. And I think that is really going to make a big difference uh, to you know, the package manager. Now, the last thing I'll throw into the mix to consider here is that the Intune suite, Microsoft has touted that as including you know, third-party patching. It would seem to me that that third-party patching capability is going to come to us courtesy of Winget. So whenever that becomes available, it's not available as yet, hopefully not far away, my gut feeling would tell me that more than likely this is going to be have Winget under the covers to allow all of that to happen. Um, once you start using Winget and having a look at your environment, seeing what you can do at least standalone, I think you get the idea that this really is the solution that's going to allow Microsoft to achieve that very, very uh, well. So my advice to you is that if you haven't looked at Winget, again, Winget is available for free in Windows 11. You can add it to Windows 10. Go in and run Winget space list to look at all the software. You can then install, uninstall, upgrade, and export the settings from that workstation to other workstations. Then if you want to work with the GUI, look at winstall.app and also Winget UI. Really like Winget UI, use it all the time. It works really well. What's missing at the moment is that multi-tenant uh, capability or multi-device and multi-tenant capability. But I believe, like I said, Microsoft is working on that and hopefully we'll deliver it shortly. And keep your eyes out for what comes with the Intune suite when they release the third part third-party patching capability. Now, I think that's going to be pretty solid and again based on Winget. So now is the time to get in there and start learning uh, more about Winget. So with that, hopefully you've got a good base of what's happened in build or the updates. Really excited to see Windows 11 Copilot hopefully become available next month. Hopefully you've got some more information about Winget. Don't forget if you Listening to this, there is a YouTube companion where you can actually see some of the stuff that I've done here when I've run through Winget to get a better idea. But I encourage you to go in and play with Winget and look at some of these third-party apps and their capabilities and you know keep your eyes posted for what Microsoft will release, I believe, shortly um, to, manage, to handle uh, management across multiple devices and uh, multiple tenants.